Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another Oblivion tutorial. This is how you make a better warrior in Oblivion, because I'm gonna be honest, the warrior class in Oblivion is complete crap. I mean, they have blade, blunt, and hand-to-hand, -hand and athletics in their skill slot. First of all, you only need one melee skill. Second of all, athletics is complete crap. So we're gonna go over how to make a better warrior, that's a battery, better warrior in Oblivion. First of all, pick the warrior sign, then pick combat specialization and your skill, your two attributes are strength and endurance, okay? That's all you gotta need to know for now, okay? Those are the easy ones. The hard ones are your skills. So your first skill, pick a melee skill. Block kinda helps with hand-to-hand, -hand, but eh. Go with blade or blunt, whichever one you want. Second is block, because you're gonna be, this is a primarily a melee fighter. So melee, block, you're gonna pick armor and heavy armor because you're, it's a melee guy. Most characters wear armor anyways. It's pretty simple. Now, this is where we're going to differ. Those are the four skills we're actually taking from the build in the game. The next skills are Restoration and Alteration. Restoration for healing, Alteration for either Feather or Protect. And the final skill is up to you. Because this Better Warrior class literally only needs, it only actually needs five of these skills. Alteration doesn't even need to be in here. So this warrior is primarily a melee fighter, but don't neglect the magic. You're gonna need restoration. My philosophy in Oblivion is if you have a melee fighter or a ranged fighter or a mage fighter, still hold on to a weapon and still use magic. An unused magic bar is way worse than a partially used magic bar with crappy spells. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. So, with this character, your last skill, you have a couple of options when it comes to this character. You can either put in Marksman. He's gonna be low on magic, so leave this, leave any other magic skills alone. Really stick with Restoration Alteration, but for your, your final skill, here's what I would do. I would either do Alchemy, I'd Sneak, or Marksman. That's what I would do. Put in a put in a stealth skill in there, okay? Marksman for range, sneak for extra damage, and the other skill that I totally forgot. Alchemy, of course, alchemy. I actually legit forgot about that. Alchemy because you're gonna need magic potions. Let me tell you, this character, magic low. Agility and uh, speed might be higher than normal because you might end up doing some jumping. You're obviously gonna do running, but that's endurance. You know, this, this character is going to be lacking in the stealth skills, so you, you want to train up agility especially on this character. Speed for a character in heavy armor doesn't matter too much, but agility affects if you're going to get knocked down from, like, those stupid-ass fucking hammer stabs. I hate the hammer stabs in this game, by the way, and the hammer spins. So really focus on getting your agility up along with endurance and strength. Endurance by far the first one and strength the second. So now with this character, you have options of weaponry, right? I prefer single-handed with a shield, but that's just me. If you do go two-handed, I want you to know that block is not going to help you out as much. Block, I believe, past journeyman only affects... Um, the, the skills you get only affect shields. Of course, block helps with blocking damage, which um, is kind of useful with a two-handed weapon. But really, block is there for if you want to use a shield, okay? Another strategy you can use with this character is since they will be very strong, you can hold a two-handed weapon for the knockdown abilities and then use a one-handed weapon for normal combat and sneaking. You know, th that's a very good meta that you can use. I would definitely recommend on this character, if you don't pick hand-to-hand, -hand, if you pick blade or blunt, to carry a two-handed and a single-handed weapon. And also carry a backup because... If you're, since you're only going to be using, I mean, you might be using archery, but if you're only going to be using um, a weapon and not be doing damage with magic, you might get it disarmed and it might, it, I mean, it's, it's never happened to me. It's gotten close to, but the wep, my weapons have almost like fallen off a of thing, so I got to jump down, you know. That stuff has almost happened to me a couple times. So make sure you carry multiple weapons. Carry the two-handed one for the knockdowns and the one-handed one for your sneak attacks. And then whichever one you prefer in combat, pick a backup for that. And that's really it for this character. Like I said, the warrior class in Oblivion is complete crap. This one I think is a lot better just because it utilizes the magic bar 
way more than the other characters. So let me know what you think of this build in the comments below if you try it out. Do you like the strategies? Did you figure out another strategy that's better than mine? Feel free for all those thoughts in the comments below. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it, post of whatever I decide to make.